All right, let's look at how to add fractions. So you see here that I have the numbers 3 fourths and 2 thirds. So if I want to represent this in a picture form, I can do that. And I will just draw a box. And 3 fourths. And then I'm going to draw my box over here. Or 2 thirds. So the denominator tells me how many parts I need to divide my shape into. So I need to divide it into fourths. One, two, three, four. Of those fourths, I'm going to need to shade in three of them. Then over here, I'm change color, change it to blue. I'm going to draw my lines horizontally just so that I can see them a little bit better. And my denominator is three, so I'm going to put it into three equal parts, more or less. And the numerator tells me how many parts I need to shade. So I'm going to shade in two. So now I'm going to take these lines here, and I'm going to draw them on this side. So you see I have blue, and then I have, let's see, there we go. So there's my thirds. Transfer it back again to the pink. There we go. And I'll do fourths on this one. So I'm drawing them a little bit um, larger than the actual they actually need to be. So I can now count that three fourths is equivalent to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So there are 9 shaded out of 12. This side, 2 thirds, <clears throat> is the same as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 parts. So if I combine them all together, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So all together I have 17, and they are in 12. 12s. And I can change this. So if I take 1, 2, 3 from over here, change it to blue so you can see. So if I take one, two, three, and I move them over here, one, two, three. Let me erase that, one, two, three. You can see that we have one hole, one hole, and one, two, three, four, five, twelfth pieces left over. Another way we can do that is we can take our original three-fourths, so let me rewrite that, three-fourths, and our two-thirds, so I'm going to write it vertically, two-thirds. Down here, I can go ahead and write out my um, multiples of four, so I have four, eight, 12, 16. Now I'm going to write out my multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. You'll see here that we have the common denominator, the common multiple here, 12. So I know that my common denominator is going to be 12 equals and I think 3 times what is going to give me 12? 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I multiplied my, new, my denominator by 4, I need to multiply my numerator by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths. I'm going to repeat this process on the top number here, 3 fourths. So 4 times what number gave me the denominator 12? 1, 2, 3.
So since I multiplied my denominator by three, I need to multiply my numerator by three. This will help me keep my fractions uh, as an equal, uh, equivalent fraction. So three times three is nine. You'll notice here is nine twelfths is equal to three fourths, and that's what we got up here. Eight twelfths is equivalent to two thirds, and that's what we got up here. I add them together. I kind of ran out of room there. I have 17 twelfths. 17 is greater than my denominator, so I can get one whole out of that, and I will have 5 twelfths left over.